Hello everyone, I'm Donita from Visiotech and today I'll be demonstrating on how you can use our products to make your life easier. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to demonstrate on how to connect your Vizio 5, R512 UPS. It's a 32,000 megawatt. So this is what it looks like and as you can see it has the battery status, your 5 volt, 7.5, 9 volt and 12 volt. Um, it has a 5 volt output and on the back you have your output and you have your selector. So you can select 12, 9, 7.5 and 5 and this is obviously your power supply. So for today um, I will be leaving it on 9 volt as my router is 9 volt and my ONT fiber box is 9 volt. So you need to ensure that both your devices are the same voltage. You cannot have like let's say a 9 volt router and a 12 volt uh, ONT fiber box. Because you cannot use a higher voltage on a lower voltage product. So what we need to do is you get your splitter cable out. It will go into your output at the back. I've left my selector on 9 volt. Then we get our extension cables. One in that side and one in that side. We will connect it into our router. And as you can see, I'm just going to show you quickly. Your power on this router is 9 volt. So double check the back of your router and the back of your ONT. I don't have an ONT box at the moment. I'm just using this little device as an example. So just double check what the voltage on both your products are before you connect them up. We don't want you blowing any devices. And then we connect our ONT and yes, you see it does not fit, but we do supply extra plugs which will go in there and we connect that. Then your power supply goes in there and you can see battery status is on. Now you can see, oh, but there's no power. Well, you just need to hold this button in and the light comes on. And you'll notice ONT fiber box has got power And your router has power. So, please, this has only one output and you can only select one voltage, 12 or 9 or 7.5 or 5 volt. You need to make sure your devices are both the same voltage. And this is the Vizio 512. And with it being on like that, when you do have load shedding, all you need to do, let's say, now there's load shedding. I've taken the power out. Okay. <laughs> it hasn't had time to charge. We recommend 24 hour time to charge, but everything is still working. And when the power comes back on, it charges again. And this one has got six hours backup. So for six hours, you will have power. And that is how everything works. All have power and your Wi-Fi and router, everything stays on while you've got load shedding, cable theft, maintenance in your area. At least you're able to have Wi-Fi. Thank you.